High five, man. Don't leave me. Seamus Houlihan says he remembers looking at the stars and wondering what's out there when he was just three years old. Now at age 15, he's attending a sleepaway camp in Alabama that's dedicated exclusively to answering that question. Space excites me because you can't reach an end to it. And it is the natural progression of life on Earth that we conquer things here on Earth and then move out into the stars and keep on uh, broadening our horizons. Houlihan is one of thousands of American children who choose to spend their summers at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, known as Space Camp. While stuck on Earth, the kids get to experience what life beyond its orbit might look and feel like. Most of us, when we're proficient at something, we've started when we're very young. That's the time when our mind is open, when our imagination is alive and working. And I think that's the time to engage people in the idea of what they can accomplish. Having a few former astronauts on hand helps. Bob Stewart logged nearly 300 hours in space and now volunteers at the camp. We love this stuff. When teachers, particularly, or kids, those, those few that are, have a burning interest in it, can talk to the people that actually did it about how they did it and why they did it, then you begin to build this interest in, okay, now what can I do in the future to go beyond what these guys do? It's been nearly 50 years since an American astronaut became the first person to step on the moon. It was dubbed a giant leap for mankind, a moment captured in time and shown over the years to millions of American youth. Camp organizers are hoping the next giant leap will start right here. There's no doubt in my mind that one of the young people coming through our programs today is going to be one of the travelers to Mars. Each year, the U.S. Space Agency, NASA, spends around $100 million on education. But it's programs like these that are largely credited with helping inspire American children to care about space. And it's contagious and spreading abroad. Feeling good? I am feeling good. Ben McGrath came to space camp from Ireland and is now fixing a cooling system on one of Mars's moons. And these kids from an Indian school in Dubai now know what tumbling out of control in space would feel like. Oh my God, no, no. Houlihan says the space experience is literally universal. It's always there. No matter where you are in the world, you can wonder what's up there. Tonight, he's one step closer to finding out. Roe Ruttenberg, CCTV in Huntsville, Alabama.